outfit of the day, overalls. What a shocker. <laughs> So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well, having a happy Friday, having an awesome day. So, today, we're gonna start off the video with an outfit of the day. I've been showing you guys outfit of the days. You guys said you like that, so I'm gonna keep up with it. So, I'm wearing a off the shoulder kind of slouchy shirt from Brandy Melville. I always find like really good like basic shirts there without like a ton of writing that are super soft. So it's perfect to go under things. Um, and overalls are from Planet Blue. Jewelry is from my Etsy page. So I have all my rings on, my little huggy hoops, and the star choker. Today's pretty water is grapefruit. It is so good. By the way, if you're new to my channel and you see like us talking about pretty water, basically it's just fruit infused water and I change it up all the time. So today is great fruit. Anyway, so today's video I want to talk about our 28 day fitness challenge that we're doing and stay tuned to the end of the video because I am going to be sharing some meals that you could do on the challenge and just some yummy things that I made today that are, are seriously so good. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, Twitter too, can't forget Twitter, then you guys already know what's going on, but for anybody new to my channel or that doesn't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or social media, then you totally should so that you could be in the loop too. But basically we are doing a 28 day fitness and health and wellness challenge and it's going to be so good. So you can go to my website right now and you can download it. It's called the February Family Self Love Challenge. When you go on there, you'll see a little bit about the challenge where I got the inspiration. You know, I mentioned that it's Valentine's Day month. It's the love month. And although I think it's important to give love to our loved ones and to celebrate Valentine's Day and all that, but I also think it's really important to practice self love and to take care of you because the better you feel and the better care you take of yourself, then you can give even more love to others and be more compassionate and to be more helpful and just overall a really good person when you take care of you. It's when we start neglecting ourselves that we get impatient, we get cranky, we don't feel like we're doing our best. I know me, I start to lose some of my funk. Honestly, when I'm not taking care of Sam and worrying about my needs, then I start skipping workouts because I need extra sleep so I don't wake up in the morning. You guys know I like to get my workouts over with in the morning. So if I'm doing too much for others and just neglecting my own basic needs, then I will oversleep. I won't wake up early. I won't meal prep because I probably didn't go grocery shopping. Trust me guys, this stuff is important. Then when you go down, you'll see the calendar and this is where I outlined what we're going to be doing on each day. So yesterday was actually day one and day one was to watch a TED talk. So if you're just seeing this now, then you can just jump in now and just watch your TED talk on day two. Or if you're seeing this days later, you could still jump in and join us. This isn't like something that you had to start February 1st, although that's when we're all starting. So if you wanna do this as a community together, then that's great. Then just double up and join us today on Friday. We're only on day two now. But the point I really wanna get across is it's never too late to decide now that I'm going to be healthy. Decide now that I'm going to take care of my mental health. Decide now that I'm going to change bad habits. You'll also see that under some days, like the green smoothie day, I have like a little star. And you go down to the next page and you guys can print all this out, by the way. You go to the next page and that's where I share some of my favorite recipes. So of course you're welcome to use your recipe recipes or even find new ones on Pinterest. But if you want to see some of the recipes that I love and that are tried and true, then I do have all of those down below. So this challenge will really help you with self-love and seeing that self-love is not selfish and that it's actually really important. It's important to take care of you. And like I said before, the better you take care of you, the more you can take care of others. And the more you love you, the more you can actually give love to others. The second thing this challenge will help you with and you will really see results is getting healthy from the inside out. So you can lose 50 pounds, you can lose 100 pounds, you could get your dream body tomorrow, but if you are not happy with yourself, if you are not happy with life, I'm telling you, that won't change anything. A lot of times people think that they have to lose weight or that they have to tone up or start going to the gym more and that's going to automatically make them love life and be positive and be a fairy. Like you guys know I always talk about like fairies and I love like fairy energy, but whatever, that's a whole nother story. But in order to feel that, to feel that positivity, you have to get healthy from the inside out. You can't just expect it to be something with, oh, I'm, you know, I lost 20 pounds, yeah, 
I'm feeling great. Like that might last for all of an hour. You know, once you start feeling healthy from the inside out, that's when you actually stick to these changes. It won't just be like a fad weight loss kind of thing. It'll be something that you actually stick with. You'll be able to keep the weight off forever and you'll be able to stick with a healthy lifestyle rather than a diet. But two, it'll also make you feel better. Who, like I'm, like I know this is super cheesy once again, but like who doesn't want to feel good every single day? Like if you could feel positive and happy and amazing every single day, wouldn't you want to? I know I do. So that's what this challenge is all about. It's tackling both. So on one day we're doing a booty workout or we're doing an abs workout. So that's really tackling, you know, your fitness goals. We're eating vegetables with every meal in one on one day. Then we're also doing things like encouraging a friend or on a Another day I have, we're going to declutter, so maybe clean out your closet. And then what I want you to do is stop at the Goodwill or stop at a women's shelter, and I want you to donate some of that stuff. Another mental thing that I had you guys do was watch a TED Talk yesterday. TED Talks are so inspiring. I will leave some of my favorites down below and the one that I personally watched because I'm doing the challenge too. I have all sorts of things from outer body stuff to inner body stuff because that is when you guys, I promise you, that is when you guys are going to see the biggest change. The other thing that this challenge does is it shows you that by doing little steps by making a green smoothie that was actually today's day what I noticed about that is every morning I've been making a green smoothie that's something so easy that's something so doable that we can all do and no matter what our schedules are whether we work from home or work out or have an hour commute or we go to school or you know whatever the case may be we can all you know drink something right we can all bring a green smoothie on the go well what I noticed is by making green smoothies in 2018 by doing something small like that that then inspires me to do other health things so you know in the morning I make my green smoothie and then in the afternoon since I knew I had my green smoothie I would want to stay clean all day that smoothie would make me feel like that was one step in the right direction so then for lunch I want to have something healthy and then for dinner I want to have something healthy so I think what's great about this challenge is they're all small things that we can do every single day but they all add up and they all get us into a better routine nobody wants to quit things cold turkey nobody wants to just feel like they're giving up their old old life and that they can't have all the things they used to have and i think that's the hardest part about you know getting healthy and feeling good every day is you don't know where to start you feel overwhelmed that's why this challenge is so great because it's just small things that you can do every single day that i promise are going to inspire you to do even more healthy things Okay, so before we get into the healthy recipes, I just wanna mention one more thing about the challenge. If there is anything that you feel uncomfortable doing or you can't do, by no means feel like you have to and instead just replace it with something else from the challenge. So double up, maybe watch another TED Talk or go on a walk. The last thing I want you to do is say, oh, I, I can't do the challenge because, for example, there's a day that I want you to be vegan all day. Well, maybe you live with your parents and they cook meat and you just don't feel like you're going to be able to be vegan all day. Well, just change it with something else. Maybe try being vegan for breakfast or try being vegan for dinner. I want you guys to get really creative. So yeah, that's really everything I want to say about the challenge. I'm going to be doing it too so definitely follow me on social media because I will be posting recipes and just overall showing you guys what I'm doing on each day and also if you do post anything use the hashtag family self love challenge that way I can search and like your pictures and comment and see what you guys are doing so I love you guys so much let's get into the recipes Okay, so you want to start overnight oats the night before, so I'm usually in my robe and I make overnight oats before bed. So I'm using rolled oats from Trader Joe's. You want to make sure you're buying rolled oats. Then I'm going in with two tablespoons of chia seeds. If you're done watching this video, look at the health benefits of chia seeds. It's insane. So then you want to go in with your choice of milk. I'm using pea milk, which offers eight grams of protein, which is awesome, a great source of protein on a plant-based diet. And then I'm going in with just a tiny bit of vanilla extract, as well as some honey. You can skip these steps. You can use agave, whatever you want. Then I'm going in with frozen mango. You want to make sure whatever fruit you're using the night before, you use frozen. And then I'm going in with some coconut chips. These are so good and so much flavor. Then when you're all done, just pop them in the fridge. And then the next morning, I this is a personal preference, but I add a little unsweetened almond milk. 
I mix it around, this way it's not dry, and it's good to go. I call this my Friday smoothie. You know when you're almost out of all of your ingredients so you just kind of have to put some stuff together? That's what this is. So first I go with spirulina powder. Spirulina is a blue algae and great for anybody that doesn't eat fish, but you want the same health benefits. Then I go in with, with whatever greens we have left. Then I have literally one banana left, so I'm going in with that, but I'm only using a little bit. And then I'm going in with unsweetened almond butter. So I'm putting as much as I can fit in my small little blender. And then I am going in with just a touch of spirulina powder. The reason why I say that is because you will taste it and not in a good way. This stuff is kind of gross. It kind of has a too healthy kind of taste, but I need it in my diet. So I'm mixing just a tiny bit. And usually almond butter kind of cuts the taste. So that's pretty good. Then I'm going in with the pea milk that you saw earlier that offers some protein and you're all good to go. And last but not least, loaded sweet potatoes with avocado garlic dressing that I'm gonna show you guys how to make. You just want to line a baking sheet with parchment paper and then you wanna take your sweet potatoes and just poke holes in them with your fork. You can actually do this next step while your sweet potatoes are baking, but I just ended up waiting till they were done. But you just want to heat up some olive oil and add in some greens and veggies. I'm doing spinach, garlic, and mushrooms because that's what we have left. I added a little bit of water in there and then just covered it. So while those are cooking, we're going to be making the sauce. So here is all the ingredients and what you will need and how much of everything. The salt, the lime, and the cilantro are up to you for taste. So you want to add that all in your blender, mix together, and watch it all come together. It comes together so good. So you just want to cut the sweet potatoes till they open, but you don't want to cut them where you cut through. You know what I mean? You don't want to cut them in half. So just like that. And then you're going to scoop your ingredients all into the sweet potatoes. Honestly, guys, this is so good. It's a good mixture to get in your carbs, your complex carbs, as well as your nice like sauteed veggies. So good. And this sauce is literally to die for. So you just want to add as much or as little sauce as you would like. And then the great thing is you can actually just seal up the sauce and use it the next day, just like that. So that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you'll join the challenge with us and share your amazing recipes and your spin on it. So I love you guys and I will see you in Monday's video. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.